Alrighty, welcome back to Unreal Engine Indy. Today we're going to get Wukong jumping. So by the end of the video, this is what you're going to have. Wukong will be able to jump. Boing, boing. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is branches. I need to create a new branch. I'm going to call this part eight jumping so that's going to be up on the github for you to take a look at if you need to for any code corrections or you can also use the github to actually review stuff and when you are working on your own project you can go back to the github and see how things are done so now that I'm in the IDE, I want to do get status, just make sure part A jumping. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is come up here to Wukong and we are going to need jumping. So right underneath here, configure movement, we are going to do jumping. And we are going to do get character movement and we're going to do jump velocity equals let's just say 500 dot f and get character movement and we're going to do air control how much control do you have in the air i'm just going to do 0 0.1 f you can adjust these later in the blueprint okay so the next thing we need to do is come down here where we are doing the player input and for the player input, we need to do some bindings. So we are going to do jumping. I like to break up my inputs. The one above is for the axis. This one's for the jumping. And also when we start doing attacking, we're going to break up that section as well. It just makes it seem like it looks a little bit cleaner. Player input components. We're going to do bind action. Here we go. Bind action, and we are just going to call this jump. We're going to do IE pressed. We're going to do this, and we're going to do the at operator and a character jump. because Unreal already has that set up for us. So, I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste this. And instead, the second one is going to be released. IE released. And stop jumping. So Unreal already has that set up for us, so we just need to make sure we do this character, the A character. Not Wukong character, but A character. And let me scroll up and make sure we don't need any headers. And this was done in the Wukong character CPP file. So let's go into the Wukong Anim instance. So under speed, we are going to create a Boolean. And it's going to be B is in air. Blueprint visible, read only, category movement. So we're just going to copy and paste that new property. Then what we're going to do is do true or false if player if player is in air is in the air. Okay. So that's just a boolean to check B is in air. And we're gonna make it visible anywhere blueprint read only because we are gonna need it in the 
blueprint in them and the atom of blueprint. So I believe that's all we need here. So let's go over to the Wukong Anim Instance.cpp. So we need to do under speed. Mm -hmm. B is an air. And we're going to do Wukong character. Get character movement and is falling. And B is an error. Equals Wukong character movement is falling. Is the player in the air? Is the player player? Ah. Is the player in the air? So the way that Unreal does it is if the player is falling, well, the player is in the air. So that's why we do it that way. So I believe this is all we need here. So we can go ahead and compile this and jump into the editor. Okay, so we're in the editor. First thing we need to do is go to Project Settings, Edit Project Settings. Scroll down, Engine, Section, Input. Okay, now for the input sections, we did right here, we did Axis Mappings. We, we already set the Axis Mappings up, but we need Action Mappings. So go ahead and click a plus sign. And then we're going to say jumping and then we are going to hit the space bar now <clears throat> for the controller I'm showing you how to do the controller stuff for the axis for the rest of the project I'm not going to add any controller stuff uh, I think uh, you can figure that out all you need to do you just come in here, click the plus sign, and then just type in gamepad. So I'm just going to use the keyboard and stuff. And maybe later on I might fill it in when we have uh, all the actions completed. I might just go back and just fill in all the controller stuff. But for now, I'm just going to jump. I'm just going to do the keyboard. So inside here, you want to go to Wukong character animation blueprint okay now the animation blueprint is open up we go to the anim graph we go to locomotion then we have idle run we want to pull off of here and we want to add a state a state is going to be jump and come down here pull off from this state and we're going to say jump end whoops state first you need a state first and then you're going to do jump end and then from jump end, we can go back to idle. So this is what it's going to look like. From idle run, we pull off, we add a state called jump. And then from jump, we go, we create a state called jump end, and we go back to idle. So for this one, we want to do is in air and as you can see movement category get is in, in air that is the variable we created go ahead compile save click up here go back to the locomotions and jump end you want to do is in air 
and then pull off of here and do a not boolean. If you type in not and you hit that, you're going to get a not equals. That is not correct. We need a not boolean. And then you plug that right in to there. Go back to locomotion. This one, we are just going to click on this right here. Just click on it. Don't double click. Just click on it once and then come up here and go to automatic rule based and click that to true. And what that is, is automatic rule based on sequence player and state. Try setting the rule automatically based on most relevant player nodes remaining time. So we click that to true. Okay, so now that we have that set up, we've got jump, jump, and we've set this one, double clicked on it, we added B is an error, and if you double click that, we've added B is an error not. And then this one, we just go back to automatic rule based. So double click on jump, come inside here. And you want to add a add new state machine. Now I'm just going to drag that over there. We want to double click on this. And from here, we are going to do jump start and jump apex. So pull off of here and do a jump start. No, you want to add a state. Then you want to do jump start. I always do that. Even when I'm not recording, I always do that. So now we go to state. And we do jump apex. And so we're going to add the animations for jump start and jump apex. Now this one, you just want to click on it once and do automatic rule based. Click that to true. Now we can double click on jump start. Come over here and type in jump for your asset browser. And we are in jump start, so we want jump start. And you plug that in there. Uh, see, compile, save, and jump apex. Double click on that. You've got apex right here. Drag and drop and hook that up. Compile, save. So you come back here to locomotion. Everything looks fine. We go back to the anim graph. Yep, everything looks fine. Click save. And I believe that is all we need. When I click play, <clears throat> and I can't jump. So what I did was I just came back here to the code. And I looked over everything. I'm like B is in there. That's there in the anim instance. Anim instance CPP. I did B is in there. Wukong character. Character movement. B is falling. That seems correct. So it's happening when I'm... It's not registering the space bar. So I went back in the Wukong character CPP. Scroll down. And if you see right here, player input component bind action. I put jump right here. But if you go to the editor, project settings, input, I put jump in. So that is not going to work. So if you do jump, and then you come back here, and now Wukong can jump. So now Wukong can jump, but however, this is what happens. So something is wrong with the animation. So we go back into animation blueprint. And if we go to the jump, 
double click on that double click on state machine and the apex so when you notice that when wukong jumped it kind of replayed the animation when wukong jumped up the animation replayed that is because we have looping animation you want to click that off and then come back here and click save then you want to go to jump end because we went back to the t pose so now we need jump land and plug that in hook that up so plug that in and hook it up click compile and save now when you go back you can jump and it plays fine. So when you make mistakes, you just have to go back and double check what you did. And the code I had had incorrect from the input and for the code. And just double check the animations. Sometimes you have right here, sometimes you might have this incorrect. You might have B as an error. This one could be B as an error and you forgot to not. Uh, or you f could forget an animation like I did. Now, also what I want to do is I want to jump in here and show you in Wukong Character Blueprint. You want to go to Character Movement. And you just type in Jump. Now we have jump Z velocity. We set that to 500. You can set it to whatever you want. And then air control, we did a 0 0.1 because when Wukong's jumping, the air control. And of course you can change the jump velocity if you want. That's all I have for today. So thank you very much. Bye for now.